Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card. These are by Stephen Farmer. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Gemini. Oh, <laughs> I love this one. We have beaver productiveness. Go ahead and just do it. <laughs> I mean, that's very you anyway, isn't it, Gemini? You know, you don't really wait about and, you know, to do things. You just do go ahead and do it. So it's very much tying in with your energy. Very fast multitasking energy here. Um, yeah, productiveness. You're going to be highly productive this week. Very nice. Okay. Message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Geminis. Oh, okay. So we have, okay. Yeah, you see, similar, similar. We have take charge. Leadership and self-discipline are required to take control of your life. It feels for some of you, I mean, productiveness is someone who is being effective in bringing gain into their life, right? So there is gain available to you in some way, shape or form. And there may be some opportunity or signal or sign or feeling or clarity that you're getting this week to just do it, take charge, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Gemini, as I always do. First card is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Geminis for the week, 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. I'm using Morgan Greer and uh, Handsome Roberts this week. Okay, Ten of Cups in the challenge position. Interestingly enough, that is a card of productiveness. Uh, we have the King of Pentacles, card of Taurus, Gemini for me as a reader, male or female energy. And then we have the Three of Cups. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Gemini? Thank you. Clarify the cards for Gemini, please. 15th to the 21st. Interestingly, that came out more reverse. So it's King of Wands energy or King of Rods. Um, King of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles here, Gemini. Okay. So, Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Energy. There is definitely an energy here. It, the Ten of Cups is, I mean, it can be, you know, you can see the male and female energies there. Uh, Mars in Pisces, there is definitely an energy of being productive. And the idea of the Ten of, of ten, did I say Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups is uh, the rainbow of blessings it is the happy ever after card but it is a card of success and it is a card of success through hard work 
and um, it takes a lot to achieve the rainbow of blessings right so this is for you your home your family things that you value dearly things that, that bring you joy it's in your challenge position and it feels in this situation the king of, of wands as Yeah, I'm going to get one more for this, just to make sure. Let's get one more for this King of Wands. Let's get one more for this King of Wands, please. King of Wands reversed. So I have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, which is you. So it's kind of saying, you know, the Knight of Swords is Gemini energy. So the King of Wands is generally somebody who takes the lead, who is in their power. And it feels that this King of Wands is representing you because the Knight of Swords is your energy. There's definitely this energy of somebody who needs to now really take the lead in a situation who really needs to go for something I mean this is somebody who is a visionary somebody who is a person of action somebody who will keep going until the job is done you know it's that kind of energy so there's definitely an energy here of the rainbow of blessings is available to you the success not just for you but for everybody in your life here Gemini male or female energy here by the way um but you need to take control of something, maybe that has controlled you for a period of time. Because, you know, the Knight of Swords as an energy is somebody who has ambition and drive. And it's the fastest knight, you know, of all the knights. Uh, there is swift energy, swift change with the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who is driven to succeed. You know, and we have the king, which is a sign of success and achievement here. So there's definitely an energy that I'm getting in these energies, Gemini. There is, an, there is success available to you. So absolutely, this is about going ahead and just doing it. Um, taking charge of something that may have controlled you for a period of time. In whatever context this is, I mean, it feels to do with money and career here, I have to say. It might well be as a relationship you have been challenged on the money and career front. That could be a source of disharmony in the, you know, that, that's affecting your relationship. But there is definitely an opportunity of you're not recognizing your own power to take the lead, to act towards a vision, to make it happen, which is all about that King of Wands. He is somebody who is in his power, but this is reversed. So there is a, an energy of now is the time to be driven because there's success here available to you. And there is, there definitely is. I mean, you know, this King of Pentacles is somebody who understands how to make money. Um, he understands how to make success, material success, financial success. He understands his own practical capability, his worth, his his skills, his experience that he's learned through, you know, years of experience to bring the bounty in. You can see the grapes, you know, all the all the bounty, the fulfillment, you know, being overloaded with more than enough, you know, um, can be an investor, can be to do with um, somebody who is offering you an opportunity as well. You know, kings can offer opportunities and the male or female um, so again, somebody who is a leader in charge, somebody who um, is at the top of their game, really. Very practical, methodical, clever, has a strategy and understands how to practically achieve that strategy. But this can also be you, Gemini. This can be your energy um, because we have the victory. 
the success. Now, the Ace of Swords, it feels for some of you there is some kind of breakthrough. I mean, this can be breakthrough energy. It definitely feels for some of you there's some kind of breakthrough coming. It might well be how you're getting clarity and putting some kind of plan into action and making it happen, bringing some success your way. But it definitely feels in this energy. Um, yeah, there is some success victory coming your way. Remember the, the crown here is your, your power. It's the crown of power, the crown of, of who you are. Um, so I definitely get in this energy. This is, there is an opportunity to bring some victory, breakthrough your way. Yeah, because for some of you, there is, listen, there is, the energy is here. I'm definitely getting a meeting, some kind of meeting here. So for some of you, there could be a meeting um, that's important because it's bringing in the beginnings of success your way. Remember, the Three of Cups is a card of reasons to celebrate. Uh, so the outcome here is their celebration. And from the universe is saying it's, it's your time to receive. That Six of, of Pentacles is an energy of you. If you put your energy in the right direction, you will get that back from the universe, law of attraction. There is a victory, a success waiting for you. Um, some kind of breakthrough coming your way. And it's when you've climbed a lot of mountains, you know, that the Ace of Swords, you know, there's been gray clouds here. You can see the clouds, but you can see the silver lining there. You see that? You can see the silver lining appearing. The sun is breaking and the blue sky is coming through. There is definitely some breakthrough I'm seeing here. Um, so the message from the universe is it's your time to receive. Put your energy in the right direction here. There may well be some meeting here, Gemini, you know, communication, meeting, conversations, the beginnings that, that's resulting in the beginnings of success. The three of pentacles is the beginnings of material, monetary, financial success. And interestingly enough, Mars in Capricorn, it is a card of a big boost in terms of your productivity in bringing in the beginnings of manifesting new success. That could be in the form of uh, a new job, that could be in the form of a business partnership, um, a project that's going to bring in some level of success, you know. It's the very beginnings of success, but nevertheless, you know, that three is it beginning to happen here. And again, this celebratory energy, three of cups, the celebration. It feels very beautiful here, Gemini, it really does. Um, yeah, it just feels very, very exciting. I mean, you know, the King of Pentacles is a, is a sign of stability, security, safety. Uh, so where maybe there has been some challenge on that, maybe where you felt a little bit powerless in a situation, there is definitely an energy here of taking your power back. Uh, some breakthrough that is allowing you to take your power back. You might be meeting somebody here that is going to bring this breakthrough into you. That is going to bring, you know, the beginnings of success your way. This six of pentacles can be somebody reaching out, offering you something as well. So I definitely get this energy here. You're going to get what you need. You're going to get what you need. There's an energy of it's your time to receive. Um, but very much some kind of breakthrough, the beginnings of success. So a message of go ahead and just do it. Again, if you're waiting on an investor or some money coming in to start a business partnership, again, this looks very, very good indeed. So whatever works for you, but I love this energy of the Ace of Swords. I, and, I, and I like that picture a lot because it really displays what the Ace of Swords is all about, the breakthrough, the clouds are parting, the silver lining, and the blue sky is coming through finally. You know, the sword, the battle sword, the warrior sword, 
finally claims the victory, you know, what you've been battling towards. Yeah. Let's pull a final message for Gemini, please. Final message for Gemini. It's interesting, there was that card as well, so I'm going to put that down. We have purity. Always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside and within it you will find the answer to your question. And we have hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Very nice energy, Gemini. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.